Long-haul flights can be exhausting, especially when accompanied by screaming children. In such situations, you might wish for the plane to move faster to reach your destination sooner. Unlike military planes, which fly very fast and can exceed the speed of sound, very few passenger planes achieve such speeds. So here are the few passenger planes that can fly faster and come close to the speed of sound, also known as Mach 1. Spaceship 2 – Unity The fastest passenger plane available in the world today is the Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 – Unity. Despite debates about its classification that it doesn't quite fit the typical plane mold, its wing design makes it similar to an airplane, earning it the title of a space plane. A space plane is an aircraft that can fly and glide like an aircraft within Earth's atmosphere and maneuver like a spacecraft in outer space. In July 2021, this space plane reached speeds of Mach 3 while carrying six passengers above New Mexico, USA, making it the fastest passenger plane ever. Unlike other planes, the VSS Unity is powered by a single rocket engine and requires assistance to reach its launch height of 15,000 meters, carried by a cargo aircraft called White Knight 2. Once launched, it can reach speeds over 2,300 miles per hour and fly nearly 56 miles above the Earth's surface. After 20 years of development, the first commercial flights have finally taken off. But hold on to your wallets, because a ticket for a 90-minute flight will set you back a whopping $400,000. Concorde For nearly 30 years, travelers could fly faster than the speed of sound, thanks to the iconic Concorde supersonic jet, which cruised at 1,350 miles per hour. Transatlantic flights from London to New York took less than three hours, about twice as fast as today's commercial flights, making the Concorde one of the fastest commercial airliner ever built. It was jointly developed by British and French engineers, and it entered service in 1976 at a total program cost of around £2.1 billion, equivalent to £13.2 billion in 2024. The Concorde featured a tailless design with a narrow fuselage, allowing for four abreast seating for 92 to 128 passengers, an Augeville Delta wing, and a droop nose for landing visibility. It was powered by four Rolls-Royce slash Snecma Olympus 593 turbojets with variable engine intake ramps and reheat for takeoff and acceleration to supersonic speed. Constructed out of aluminum, it was the first airliner to have analog fly-by-wire flight controls. The aircraft needed only 15 minutes to speed up from 0 miles per hour to Mach 2, and it could maintain a supercruise up to Mach 2.04 at an altitude of 60,000 feet. However, the fate of the Concorde began to decline in July 2000, when Air France Flight 4590 crashed shortly after takeoff killing all 109 occupants and four people on the ground. This was the only fatal incident involving Concorde, but it did not recover from the accident as commercial service was temporarily suspended until November 2001. Besides the accident, Concorde was very expensive to operate and caused significant noise pollution, often breaking the glass of skyscrapers when passing over cities, leading to bans in some US cities. All these issues contributed to its eventual retirement from service in 2003. Tupolev Tu-144 Given the geopolitical climate during the Cold War, the Soviet Union was determined not only to match, but to surpass Western advancements, particularly in aerospace technology. And the idea of the West getting ahead and leaving the Soviet Union behind was unthinkable. The development of the Concorde occurred at the height of the Cold War, when the West and the Soviets were in fierce competition to be the best at everything. Soon after studies for the Concorde began in the West, the Soviets rushed to the drawing board to create the fastest commercial airliner before the West could achieve it. Their efforts paid off as the Tupolev Tu-144 became the first commercial airliner to fly at supersonic speeds in December 1968, flying two months before the Western Concorde could take off. 
Despite the similarity in appearance between the Tu-144 and the Anglo-French supersonic aircraft, there were significant differences. The Tu-144 was bigger and faster than the Concorde. It conducted 102 commercial flights, of which only 55 carried passengers, cruising at an average service altitude of 52,000 feet and a speed of around 1,400 miles per hour or Mach 2. However, the Tupolev Tu-144 was plagued by technical issues and safety concerns, leading to its retirement from passenger service after just 102 flights, three years after it was introduced for public use. Boom Overture The Boom Overture is a proposed supersonic airliner currently under development by Boom Technology designed to travel at Mach 1.7 or 1,100 miles per hour, it will accommodate 64 to 80 passengers depending on the configuration and have a range of 4,890 miles. The Overture is planned for introduction in 2029. Boom Technology claims that with 500 viable routes, there could be a market for up to 1,000 supersonic airliners with fares comparable to business class. The aircraft will feature a delta wing configuration, similar to the Concorde, but will be constructed from composite materials. Following a redesign revealed in 2022, it is intended to be powered by four dry, non-afterburning turbofans, each generating 35,000 pounds of thrust. Bombardier Global 8000 have you ever dreamed of living like Logan Roy from Succession, jetting around the globe from meeting to meeting, but finding traditional planes too slow? Well, the Global 8000 is your perfect solution. This private jet heralds a new era with unmatched speed, range, and comfort. It combines the fastest speed, the longest range, and the smoothest ride in a single, reliable business aircraft with the healthiest, best-connected cabin in the industry. The Global 8000 is essentially two jets in one, offering the industry's fastest speed and longest range, alongside a spacious cabin with four equally sized living spaces that can accommodate 19 passengers in luxurious comfort. With a top speed of Mach 0.94 and the first ever transcontinental ultra-high-speed cruise at Mach 0.92, you can now fly faster, gaining more of the most precious commodity that cannot be replaced, which is time. Its projected range of over 14,000 kilometers ensures you can attend distant meetings, even if just to deliver a few choice words. Expected to be operational in 2025, this jet is set to replace the Global 7500. Boeing 747-8i this plane is truly remarkable in that, despite the age of the 747 platforms, one of its final series, the 747-8i is the fastest large commercial jet in the world. As the largest variant of the 747 and Boeing's biggest aircraft, it boasts the capability to carry nearly 500 passengers at speeds, exceeding Mach 0.92 and a range of 14,430 kilometers. While only a few airlines operate the latest version of the Boeing 747, this intercontinental long hauler features a modern cabin interior and improved fuel efficiency. If you're seeking top speed without the budget for a private jet, the 747-8 is your best bet among commercial aircraft. Its impressive performance has caught the attention of the US Air Force, which is currently modifying two of these jets to serve as Air Force One. Boeing 787 Dreamliner Introduced in October 2011, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner is a mid-size, long-haul, twin-engine airliner that can seat up to 335 passengers. It has a cruising speed of Mach 0.85 and a top speed of Mach 0.90. The Dreamliner is 20% more fuel efficient than the Boeing 767, which it was designed to replace. 
Its distinguishing features include mostly electrical flight systems, raked wingtips, noise-reducing chevrons on its engine nacelles, and cabin windows larger than those on any other civilian plane in service or development. It possesses large windows that measure 10.7 by 18.4 inches and are positioned higher so passengers can maintain a view of the horizon. The Dreamliner is a popular choice for long-haul flights, with over 1,000 in service worldwide. So if you are flying long-haul, there is a good chance you will be on a Dreamliner soon, especially if you fly with Japan Airlines, Qatar Airways or United Airlines. Airbus A380 The Airbus A380 is a very large, wide-body airliner developed and produced by Airbus. It is the only full-length, double-decker aircraft in the world, capable of carrying over 800 passengers in comfort. In fact, it is the largest passenger plane ever built, as wide as 32 double-decker buses all combined. Despite its massive size, this behemoth can reach speeds of Mach 0.89, although it typically cruises at Mach 0.85, with a range of 14,800 kilometers. Over the past 16 years, the A380 has transported over 300 million passengers worldwide. While production has officially ended, the speed and comfort this aircraft offers ensure it will continue to fly for years to come Boeing 777 Another popular and long-running aircraft in Boeing's range, the 777 has been flying for almost 30 years. First introduced in June 1995, the Boeing 777 is the world's largest twinjet and a favorite among major airlines like British Airways, United Airlines, Cathay Pacific and Emirates. This plane can carry over 500 passengers, which is impressive for a single-deck aircraft with only two engines. Even more impressive is its ability to reach speeds of Mach 0.89, though it typically cruises at Mach 0.84 with a range of 15,843 kilometers. The 777 is one of Boeing's most produced wide-body jets, surpassing even the iconic 747. It also holds the distinction of being the first commercial aircraft designed entirely by computer. This groundbreaking system allowed engineers to assemble a virtual aircraft in a simulation before production, enabling them to check for interference and ensure that the thousands of parts fit properly, significantly reducing costly rework. With new orders and deliveries, the Boeing 777 will continue to be a common sight in the skies for years to come. Ilyushin IL-62M In 1960, Russia's Ilyushin Aviation Complex created the Ilyushin IL-62M, a long-range narrow-body jet airliner designed as a successor to the popular turboprop IL-18. When it made its first flight in 1963, the IL-62 was the world's largest jet airliner, capable of seating almost 200 passengers and crew. The IL-62M became the longest-serving model in its airliner class, with special VIP conversions developed for use as head-of-state transport by 14 countries. The aircraft features powerful and efficient Soloviev D-30KU engines and a fin fuel tank, with a cruise speed of Mach 0.74 and a range of 10,000 kilometers. It also includes simple, light, single-slotted flaps and several aerodynamic improvements over its predecessors, most notably the addition of spoilerons and the capability to use idle reverse thrust in flight to shorten the landing run. 